same thing, we are now going to do some MAT questions. In this case, it's going to do be H 2021. Which of the following graphs shows this? Well, first, we need to convert the insights to something we are all familiar with. A quadratic! Well, maybe we are not so familiar with quadratics when you do E, e and Admax, but you get the idea. So we're going to transform this into a quadratic by doing one of our lovely trigonometry identities. So, 6 cos squared x is 6 times 1 minus sine squared x. It's helpful to know these by heart or write them in a cheat sheet. It's standard every day until you memorize it. No joke, I actually use this to memorize trigonometry identities. So 6 sine squared x. So 6 sine squared x minus 8 sine x plus 3. And now we're going to convert this into a quadratic by doing our favorite substitution. Sine x is u. And we're now going to complete the square of this thing. 6 u squared minus 4 third u plus half. You see why I put the 6 there? Because the completing the square only works when the quadratic coefficient is 1. You see why the 4 lines? It's because it's 2 thirds squared. It's helpful to know these by heart too. And then 6 u minus 2 thirds squared plus 1 over 3. So, what about the sign? Well, we see that I've forgotten about the sign altogether. So now let's worry about the sign for now. The graph of sign looks like this. N, and you can draw a line at two thirds, it will look like this. So that means there must be two minima between the range 0 and 180 degrees. See, 180 degrees. And this minimum must be exactly at log 2. One third. Because we see that I forgot about the log, now we have to use it to our advantage. And since this is less than zero, we can now safely say that there must be two negative minima between a range of zero and 180. Hence, A is the answer. Well, see you in another MAT video!